Hello, hello, and welcome back to Leaky Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources. Soviet Republic Mod Monday. We have, I don't know, nine of them, I think. Right, it's not like I have a list next to me. Yes, <laughs> indeed. Right, so, uh, nine mods, uh, map two helicopters and a lot of other and every building every building uh, what's in every building you'll see in the end disclaimer I'm not being paid for this this is just something I noticed uh, and we have a huge nice beautiful community with a lot of a lot of uh, talented modders go and check all of them out this is something that caught my eye and I decided to make a video so check out the community amazing amazing mods right let's get started first things first mr. legend gamer MIT HT Chemical University. I actually did a little bit of reading about this. This is really, really nice building. This is a ni nice university. It's, lo it's under Lomo uh, Lomonosov, uh, Moscow State University uh, of Fine Chemical Technologies. I was hoping for a big chemical plant, but no, this is just the university. Not just that this is something that I would suggest as an end goal of your games, creating something beautiful and nice like this, uh, which is also useful. It takes a lot of space, and you know that universities we have various sizes in the mod section. Uh, you have various sizes in your vanilla ones right you, mr. legend gamer you can check out the link in the description of the video but how does it compare to vanilla one let's compare right so it costs 800,000 rubles in 1960 when I started but comparable to the vanilla prices we're gonna go real quickly and check education related buildings vanilla it's it's more or less more than four times more expensive than the vanilla ones if we choose not to auto build and see 7400 workdays the medical university it does require 217 tons of steel seven and of course the concrete don't forget the concrete 541 tons of concrete 7400 work hours if we go to mod section and check out our university it does require 27 thousand work days to, to finish it does require 2312 tons of concrete it does require under a thousand tons of steel so this is quite quite pricey building if you're gonna go for something like this be prepared right and it acts as a chemical university link in the description 1950s Stalinka by comrade Joe this mod uh, proposes proposes a 1950s Stalinka I'm gonna leave you guys to read about this, but I'm gonna express my opinion about this. Uh, first of all, this is amazing, amazing detailed mod. It's really, really beautiful. Definitely something you're gonna see in my Let's Plays. It does have 200 people maximum. It does look like it can handle more people, but uh, bear in mind that these are Stalinkas. They are built in a little bit more lavish sense, so apartments are a little bit bigger, and there's more living space per apartment. They are early stages, early, early days earlier than uh, Brezhnevka's and uh, before that we had the other styles as well Khrushchevka's Khrushchevka's were kind of horrible but anyway uh, how does it compare to a vanilla one let's check it out right so we have I'm gonna choose this one this one over here it's a little bit more luxurious and it's close enough it doesn't really matter they're more or less the same uh, population wise uh, how many people they can accept yeah they're more or less and they identical it's just a little bit higher living standard here so I'm gonna choose this 179 people so if we go to our mods and we go to our residential it should be in the last page because it's a newest mod I installed so we have 1950 Stalinkas it does require this much if we go to Stalinka 1121 work days which is a little bit more or let's say 30% more than the vanilla one it does have five times more concrete requires five times more concrete and does require five times more steel so in general it's five times more expensive than this building over here so heads up on that if you're gonna build something like this this is more challenging than vanilla buildings link in description Pyongyang ice ring by Mr. Bremert uh, this is a beauty this is really really beautiful building so this is um, I'm gonna read a little bit it's the Pyongyang ice ring and how Koreans pronounce it is uh, 
you didn't really expect I'm gonna pronounce this in Korean. Um, it's an indoor uh, ice hockey rink, so sports facilities. It's beautiful. It's it's something really really amazing and uh, definitely something that I will be using in our let's plays. Uh, how does it compare to vanilla sports facilities? The only thing in vanilla sports facilities you have comparable to this would be indoor swimming pool. So we're gonna compare how it compares. We're gonna go and check our sports playing grounds and you can see here the requirements for it being built. So we have 4,715 work days. It has 840 tons of concrete compared to 31 tons of concrete for vanilla one. It does require 252 tons of steel where the indoor swimming pool requires only 8.5 tons of steel. So this is <laughs> it cannot even be compared how much more expensive this is, but it doesn't matter. If we want to have something beautiful in our city, definitely consider this. Link in description. Hospital, Mr. Robs 074. Hospital based on a real building in... No, it's not Lublin, it's Częstochowa. Uh, Poland employs 60 workers with a basic education, 60 doc doctors and serves about 180 people. Patients can be equipped with 12 ambulances. This is this is something I'm gonna be using. 12 ambulances is definitely something for a bigger city and amount of people working there as well. So they can cover huge, huge amounts of patients. So if we go to vanilla one, we're gonna compare it over here. So if we go to mods again, and we're gonna just open this window real quickly, we're gonna go to a hospital, and this would be the hospital over here. Unfortunately, that would be this one over here. So we have hospital here uh, that requires 4,800 uh, work days to build, which is more or less five times more than vanilla one. Steel, it's comparable. Bricks, it's 250 tons of bricks for the mod compared to 17 tons of bricks for the vanilla one. Double the concrete, so it's a bit more expensive. I would say more than double the price, but... Um, it's definitely worth it. Uh, worth it. Link in description of the video. Mr. Vicom Forest Camp, a small camp inspired by recreational facility. I've been to several times. So this is something from a real life, and this is what I really, really appreciate when people um, create something that really exists, and especially when it's something neglected, like our tourism sector in this game, especially neglected by me. Now this is a little forest camp where you can have tourists, you have hotel staff, and of course you have food, alcohol, and meat, everything that is needed for a good barbecue, so definitely something I will be using in my let's plays. Um, if not for tourists, for something else, then definitely. Check out the link. Right, there was a lot of talk about military industry in this game, and uh, probably developers will never implement this, but there's no way of fooling our modders. We can actually have our own military industry, so you can create these military helicopters. So this is Mr. Mauser NATO. We're gonna start with MI-74B. Uh, that's the one here on the right hand side if you didn't notice already so it can be bought or constructed it can be bought in your uh, vehicle section here it has several different colors uh, that you can choose from for example we have a UN over here the white one it's not really UN but it's just a white helicopter um, definitely icon of the Soviet republics um, less known probably in the wider circles, the KA-27, but this is something that always intrigued me, the double uh, counter-rotating uh, helicopter blades without a tail rotor. Uh, it's, 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 for me, it's ingenious technology, stabilizes the helicopter, and I always liked those helicopters. These are, I believe, uh, naval helicopters. They're used for submarine tracking and, um, well, naval, naval operations. Um, they're quite iconic. Double rotors makes them extremely stable, and I'm well, well acquainted with this helicopter, and I love that this is in the game. Again, this is Mr. Mauser NATO KA-27. You have the link to this helicopter in the description. Of course, you can it can be bought in the mod section here. It, you can change colors as you wish. Uh, like I mentioned before, this is a naval version, so choose your colors carefully. <laughs> of course not. Right, so check out the link in the description. 
Okay, so we have something different. This is probably cherry on top of this episode. This is Mr. Hardcore Gaming. Well, well, well known uh, modder. You can check the link in description. He has a YouTube channel as well. Check it through the link in description to Steam. Um, or he, he, you have a good, good video in Russian though, presenting what I'm going to show you next. I'm going to go in my show all mods and go all the way to the end because there's a lot of, a lot of mods. And this is um, one in all building, let's call it like that. Why? What is this? This is a cheap set of buildings that have practically no collisions and uh, they're not really that expensive. So what's special about them? You can turn any building into anything. Uh, yes, what kind of sorcery is this? Well, well you have these non-collision uh, buildings over here from, let's say, attractions to hotels uh, that service... Uh, 100 or 300 people and then you have kindergartens different capacities so for example if you want this building to be a kindergarten which I definitely can see this happening you just have to connect this invisible connection here and instead of connecting building itself you can just connect the you can just connect something like this of course it's gonna be a little bit tricky on our side because I placed it placed it in the wrong position but let me show you how exactly this should work if we go for a kindergarten over here and connect it just about here, for example, and let them finish this. There we go. And then you can connect it and this will act like a kindergarten now. So congratulations, you have the iconic Pyongyang kindergarten. Now, of course, you can place this in a perfect middle rather than what I whatever I did here and it's gonna look much much nicer you can place it anywhere because there's no collisions just because this building has square outer structure or invisible structure I couldn't connect it here but if you place it on the edges here it should be connected perfectly right so every building every, uh, every building you have listed here there's quite few of them uh, it's over 20 uh, different sizes from, um, let's say here, sports facilities to uh, schools to distilleries, clothing manufacturing, slaughterhouse and so on and so on. You can turn any building you want into whatever you want. I think the initial idea was that you can have multi-purpose buildings like uh, where I grew up you have shops underneath the buildings everywhere and uh, here you don't have multi-purpose buildings so this is a different approach similar to Mr. Novo but a little bit different which I really really like um, this is something that I'm going to be using I think it's quite cool just because if the price is low don't be don't be scared by it because it doesn't have to be attached to another building but you will be attaching it to another building and calculate into the price of the building the actual building that's going to be attached to it so um, it's not that cheap it depends how expensive the building is going to be so try to be reasonable with this but anyway read more in the description of the video uh, and go and check out Mr. Hardcore Gaming he has amazing amazing mods and this is one of them and the cherry on the top Ozero Usmas Kartas uh, Delana Na Osna okay my Russian is really really bad so I'm gonna, gonna skip this this is uh, Lake Usmas or translated La Lake Usma Ozero Usmas in Latvia uh, it's a realistic representation of the lake uh, it should be one to one but the rivers are made a little bit wider even though the rivers are a little bit wider I'm not really sure how much shipping they're gonna be able to handle so heads up on that but it definitely looks really really beautiful um, Mr. Aristarch uh, is the mother who made this map. It's really, really beautiful. Check it out in the link in the description. And check, let's check out the resources on this map. So you have coal. It's a little bit on a decent side. So you're going to have enough coal if you start in any of those regions where the coal is plentiful. Iron, on the other hand, is a little bit less plentiful. But I have to warn you that iron and coal are um, trickily... Um, separated so it's going to be a little bit harder you're going to have to deliver uh, one or the other to the to the place where you're going to be building your steel and this lake in the middle is not uh, making the gameplay easier because it's it's gonna it's a geographic barrier that you're gonna have to cross somehow you can do small 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 size shipping <laughs> excuse me small size shipping and uh, deliver materials across and then you have oil also on the banks of these lakes and here in this let's call it a delta uranium is 
quite few, only two sources of uh, only two sources of uranium. One of them is on the island here, the other one here in north, and then we have bauxite, uh, which is even less, which we have even less of. So there you go. This is a really really beautiful map. Check it out in the description of the video and let me know what you think. What is your favorite? My favorite is the huge, the biggest Pyongyang kindergarten. <laughs> no, it's the ice rink, of course. Mr. Bremer did amazing, amazing work on this, and I really, really appreciate that. So this is my favorite mod here. It's the biggest Pyongyang kindergarten. It's actually a sports facility, but as a purpose of showcase here, it's, it's a kindergarten. Like, subscribe, notification bell, ring it, comment section, hit it. Let me know what you think and what's your favorite mod. If you want to support the channel, you have the link in the description. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.